Well, it is still raining out there for a lot of our viewers, no doubt. Sean, we're just wondering how long this rain will last. Well, let's say for right now, just to be on the safe side, all the way through Monday wow. as, a, as a rain chance. But at times it may taper off. It may pick up a little bit. Got a chance for thunderstorms tomorrow evening. As a front rolls in on Sunday, it's going to be a cold rain. Either way, it is going to be interesting on Monday when this all comes to an end because it may get caught by some pretty cold air. And there is a possibility we could have some wintry precip. Honestly, what we'd see more often than not is maybe a little bit of sleet, but we'll wait and see. We've got all weekend to watch it and see how things are shaping up. Downtown Tower Cam on Congress. This is on top of the Paramount, and you can see how the traffic is moving. Slick streets, not a surprise there with that. Certainly is going to be something that you need to watch out for because everybody wants to get home on a Friday evening as quickly as they can, and going fast is not going to help it. Big game forecast for tonight. If you're heading out to DKR Stadium, 66 degrees, clouds, showers, and if you don't want to head out this evening, but you want to watch the game, watch it in high def tomorrow night, KBVO, 730. For more information, myaustintv.com. You can find out where you're uh, locally able to watch it, or cable or satellite, what have you. Rabbit ears, that's what I, I watch it on rabbit ears, and honestly, the signal on rabbit ears Looks fantastic. You wouldn't think so, but it does. All right, 52 degrees. Winds out of the north northeast at 5 miles per hour. Humidity at 100 percent. Dew point at 52. Pressure 30.28. And at the moment, looking pretty good for rain to continue. Temperatures, though, are not looking good for folks that are getting the rain. It's a cold, wet day. 40s to the northwest. 50s in the band of green and then some 60s here in yellow. We do have a front sitting in here that brought the cold air up to us, but it's expected to roll back. So we'll end up with the 60s into tomorrow afternoon as well. But on Sunday, big front rolls in that pushes that cold air right in, and that's when things can get interesting with the cold, wet rain. And well, possibility for winter precip is not just from my words. Weather Service down in New Braunfels also has concern. They watch areas that are not in our viewing area, but are north and west uh, of the New Braunfels area, which gets them into areas almost all the way up to San Angelo. From San Angelo to the north into Amarillo, there are concerns for winter weather uh, situations. For us, you can see where that cold front just about stops right there. You've got 38 in Abilene, 41 in San Angelo, 52 in Austin, 71 in Corpus Christi, and then it's 81 degrees down in Brownsville. To go north and realize it's 28 in Amarillo, an amazing spread of temperatures there. It's the way it's shaping up, though. Here's the rain. Who did this? I'd love to know how we got rain to roll straight in. Not west, not east, not anywhere else. Right up along I 183, really, in, into the Austin area. Now, it's kind of tapered off a little bit, but do note that there is more rain on the way. This will be an on and off situation. Your streets are going to be slick for quite a while. Increase in clouds today. Clouds and drizzle tomorrow. Saturday rain, yes, but maybe some thunderstorms as well. And then as we get into the overnight hours into Sunday and Monday, we'll be looking at some colder weather moving in with that front, and that's when things can get a little interesting. Watch clouds and showers again on and off through the day today. <clears throat> Forecast model may try to lean away from uh, some of these showers, but overall, I think we are going to keep the rain and light rain throughout the, the, the weekend, even though there may be some breaks in it. Enjoy when you can. Sunday morning, looks like we get some showers and thunder showers firing up as well. Today, clouds, showers, winds out of the south, 10 to 15. Tonight, 59. And our seven day forecast, well, here it is rain. Rain with thunderstorms possible, and then rain with a cold front coming in. That 54 is really for the morning temps into the afternoon, 40s. And then here's the interesting situation 37 to 45. It's so cold. Not cold where we would freeze things on the ground, but aloft, things can freeze. Maybe like a little bit of sleet. Might see that on Monday. After that, though, we clear up and we have some pretty cold mornings with temps to the freezing mark and only above freezing on Thursday.